Okay, chances are your smartphone as it gets older, it will slow down. This is kind of almost inevitable, but there's plenty of things you can do to mitigate it. And it seems like the things I do is pretty good because my phones, even if they're older than my friends or my family members' phones, tend to run quite a bit smoother, quite a bit snappier than theirs. So I think I'm doing a couple things right. So I figured I'm gonna share some things from my experience here, some tips to keep the phone running snappily from my personal experience. So let's get into it. Now, before you I start, if you have any questions you want to ask, ask away, uh, linked in the description or in the comments, I reply to everything everywhere. Let's get into the tips. Now, the first tip is definitely to get a third party home launcher. Now, uh, what a home launcher is, is that it basically replaces your home screen, your all the widgets on your home screen and your app drawer, right? The thing about Samsung phones, Huawei phones, a lot of phones nowadays is that their Android skin is still super heavy. So that means there's a lot of graphics, colors, uh, random animations and things that they that these manufacturers put in trying to make it all look fancy but I find that it just taxes and taxes your phone way too much and since you're spending so much time on your home screen you want that experience to be fast and snappy replacing it with a third-party home screen means you get a much faster snappier experience look at that no lag seamless smooth it's 60 Hertz but I don't care it's snappy and fast and satisfying because I've got a third-party home launcher on there. now get yourself a third-party home launcher be it Nova Launcher or whatever launcher out there or the Google Home Launcher. Just get yourself a home launcher that is lightweight in terms of its animations, its designs and its features because there's really not much you need on your home screen except maybe some widgets like a to-do list and your apps. Keeping things simple is going to keep your phone running better. It's going to feel snappier. You're going to feel like less, oh my god, it's laggy, it's so slow and irritating and all that stuff. My next tip is definitely to pop into developer options and change all your transition windows to point your transition timings to 0.5. Now this thing is a tip as old as time. I personally do it, have done it since I got my HTC One M8, which I actually have one of here. This is the HTC One M8. This is my old phone from I think 2014. Yeah, I did it on this phone and I do it on my S10 Plus today. Hop into build, hop into your software information, which is underneath about phone and go to the build number. Tap the build number a couple of times and you're gonna pop up developer mode enabled. Once developer mode is enabled, hop into the developer option settings and then you can go and scroll down. So all, all you need to do is now scroll down, look for transition window and animator duration skills, all these animation skills, change it to 0.5 times or even zero times. Zero times looks kind of choppy, but 0.5 times is fast, snappy feeling, but faster than your usual experience. And it's gonna make your whole thing much snappier of an experience. What this basically does is basically instead of taking maybe one second to animate the transition into an app, it makes it 0.5 seconds. So as a result, you save a bunch of time waiting for things to kind of animate. And because these animations are made to go faster, go shorter, it actually also saves some processing power, which is good for your phone. It's gonna keep things snappier, keep things livelier on your phone even as it gets old. I've done it on old phones, I've done it on new phones. It's something that I do on every Android device I get my hands on, nothing else. Nothing else comes close. Once you try it, trust me, you'll never want to go back. You know what's like, I'm so tired right now. I'm completely exhausted. I went to the gym today and then I didn't get to sleep at much in the day in my office and stuff, which I usually get to. Uh, you can think what you want about that, but I am so tired, but I am gonna continue making daily uploads. Not because it's really helping the channel in terms of views, I could just make gaming mouse videos and well, twice a week and this channel will grow way quicker and with way less effort. But personally, I'm trying to do daily uploads because I want to get into the habit of creating content. I want to get into the habit of making videos and the habit of doing something. And I think that would just be helpful for me overall as a person. All that but anyway the next thing is I run my phone at a lower resolution than is actually intended now the S10 plus comes with a 1440p display fun fact I always run it at 1080p why because your eyes aren't good enough all right Frank frankly speaking your eyes aren't good enough to notice the difference between a 1440p screen and a 1080p screen on this size of display like it, this is tiny it's like six seven inches it really isn't much 
uh, and you don't need that high of a resolution unless you're holding your phone up like this. Sure, if you're watching a really high res HDR video and you want all the pixels to go ham and look really nice on your OLED panel, then I get it. You may, it's a good idea to turn it up, but I always run it at 1080p, uh, sometimes even 720p if I absolutely need to save battery, like I'm going overseas or something and if my phone runs out, I'm screwed. So when I'm doing that, I will, I'll run things at 720p, but I usually run my phone at 1080p, which sounds weird because like I paid for this fancy screen, I should run it at full res, right? Nah, I like my performance, I like my battery life, and as your phone gets older, th these, there's some sacrifices you have to make. Just like as when you get older, there's some sacrifices you have to make. It's all got to do with maturity. Now my next tip is to reset your phone every once in a while. Now this can be just turning off and on your phone, turning off your phone, letting it kind of sit for a couple of seconds so all the charge be left, it, it, it probably turns off and then turning it on again or resetting your phone completely. So clearing all the apps, clearing all the stuff. So the cache is cleared. It's a fresh, brand new feeling phone. Now this sounds kind of like troublesome uh, but completely resetting your phone really helps a lot if your phone is currently very slow and kind of chugging along because you bogged it down with a bunch of apps and things that you didn't need and maybe you download a couple of terrible files on there that, that shouldn't be there that really seep uh, processing power and kind of slow you down just transfer all your photos to an SD card factory reset your phone Google will do the reinstallation of the apps and re-logging into the app for you. There's not, there's not much hassle to be had, except maybe you have to spend 30 minutes doing it. But once you do it, you're probably going to end up with a much snappier, faster phone than before the factory reset. So consider turning off and off your phone, off and on your phone every once in a while. And if it doesn't really help enough, factory reset it, install only the apps you need, and you're going to have a much better time in terms of performance. And last but not least, I personally have this thing where I like to keep my phones running cool. Now this is kind of, this one is not backed by any sort of science or anything. I just like keeping my phone running cool because I think that uh, if we're, we're, if your phone's running really hot, it's obviously going to thermal throttle. It's, the processes inside obviously going to slow down. And especially if you got a Samsung phone with an Exynos chip, they run really, really hot. So you want to keep them cool. And how I keep them cool is just by not using them in direct sunlight, by taking off the case when I'm you know, using it somewhere really hot. But yeah, those are some of my tips for keeping your old Android phone running snappy in tip-top condition, keeping it as good as new software performance wise in terms of this keeping it not cracked i can't actually give you any advice about that because my phones are all cracked to hell but i can say though those tips actually do work so do try them out on your own tell me in the comments if it did help you out and if it did you know like and subscribe anyway that's it for this video if you like this video found it helpful or enjoyable like and subscribe you know the drill the youtube drill just like and subscribe like 93% of you aren't subscribed. What this, that's just screwed up, man. I'm just making videos every day. You know, every night I come home from work and I'm just like naked and I squeeze a video out because I, I really want to share something interesting. And y'all don't subscribe. Come on, I need your help. I really need your help to grow. So I appreciate you all watching to this part of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time. Uh, bye.